everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this very pretty tissue box. I'm so pleased with how this one has come together. I have made a tissue box before. If you click on the link up here, it will take you to that one. So if you don't have the supplies needed for this one, then you can go to that one there. And you can certainly take bits from this video and, you know, put it into that one as well. But it's really, really lovely. You have these little bits that I've added on the side here, these fastenings, so you can lift the lid off and then you can, you know, replace the tissue um, when needed. Um, but it just comes through really nicely there and it sits on the top and then your little tabs there with the Velcro just hold it all in place. It's all reinforced on the base, got the beautiful little details there. I love this geometric detail and there's a little butterfly there as well and they've all got little rhinestones in the centres there as well. I think this would make a lovely gift. I think it's a nice alternative to maybe take to someone who is maybe staying in a hospital long term and just having some nice little pretty things around them. I think it's always nice. It can, you know, brings a smile to someone's face along with some nice, you know, paper flowers. So there's, you know, there's lots of ways to use this. I also think it would be great for craft fairs. You know, you have a few of these on your table. It's certainly going to, you know, bring people over. And um, I think it's a nice thing just to give to someone, have in your craft room, have your home have the colors that you have so it all matches you know it's winter now so there's lots of colds going around and tissues are always needed as they are in the summer when we get terrible hay fever so i think it's a great project and i hope you enjoy the tutorial okay so this is the die set i'm using today so it's the card making magic and it's the oval box collection so i did show this in my what did i get and i went through it in more detail um, and had some ideas and one of them was to make this tissue box and i just think it's going to look really really pretty so i've popped all my dies here onto this magnetic sheet just so you can see them all and then i'll be able to tell you exactly the sizes that i've used because i've already gone ahead and cut everything and then there's the the sides for the boxes there so I'm using here, it's this beautiful, it's the Centura Pearl by Crafters Companion. You can see there it's got that lovely pearl effect. So I've gone ahead and cut, and I've just curled one of each just because I wanted to check how they all, um, you know, came out and stuff and how it looked. So I've done two of the thinner one here. Sorry, I've got that glare. Let me just tilt it to the side. There we go. So I've got two of this size that I've die cut and two of this size, which you'll see there. You need two for the base and two for the side. That's what I'm doing anyway. So that's those ones. Then I'll flip it back here. Okay, so you wanna then cut two of the larger ovals. Now I am doing mine, so they'll both be the same size, but the way that I'm gonna put these on, I'm gonna do one slightly more, um, the base is gonna be slightly just that little bit more further in so the lid fits over. So I'm keeping mine both the same size. So one for the lid, one for the base, and that's using the largest of this, you know, the big ovals here, okay? So that's the base, pop that to one side, because you don't need to do anything with that, and then that will have the two of these, the taller ones for the base. The smaller ones are for your lid, and they will go onto this one. Then I'm doing all the mats and layers. So. I've then done the next size down, which is another plain one. So you'll see they're both plain. There's no stitching detail on these. So the next one I've done in white. And then the next one again is now where you've got some details. You've got some stitching on the next one. So it's the third largest and you'll see there that sits perfectly. They all, you know, will have, um, you know, a nice even border. You can see the stitch detail on that one. Then I have done this one here, but you do also have this decorative one, which is smaller again. So you could then do the stitched one and then that decorative one, but I liked this edge, which is the fourth largest, and it gives you that there. And when you sit it against that color, it really shows it up, okay? Then I've done the stitching after that one, so that's the fourth largest, also with the detail, okay? And it gives you this really, really lovely, all that kind of um, geometric print and that will be the top one that's what you're going to see but we now need to cut into all of these to make the opening for the tissues to be able to come through so what you will need to do and I'll take these back out so it's within the next lot of ovals here it's the two smallest so that's all you will have in the in the thing here and you can see them there one of them is shown as the tag and then it's the next size which would have been that one there so just those two. And I put them together, put some washi tape on them. Okay, I'll just show you what I did. So you wanna make sure you've got a nice even border. Just put some washi tape so they're connected and then run that through your dye machine 
again using that centura pearl and that's going to be there and that's going to be the opening but what we want to do now is you want to lose the bigger one and we just need that smaller one now to cut through everything you don't need to do it all at the same time but we do want to cut through it all to like I said make that opening I've also gone ahead and made the flowers that also come within the kit you can see there well, I say the kit the collection really pretty I'm going to have three of them together and then I've also done the butterfly there as well and they're just going to finish off the top I may well add a white kind of trim around through this because it might look quite block I might want to break it up but we can do that you know just cut some strips of white because um well actually we could cut the strips from there again so we'll see when we get to that but you can see there there's the butterfly you also have a, a kind of solid butterfly and the flowers where's all the flowers Oh, there, right in the middle. <laughs> Blind. Those there. And there's the little stamens as well, which are popped in the middle. Right, so I'll move that to one side. That's everything that you need there, but then we need to look back at this. So you don't need to leave that to one side, but what we want to now do is work with this one, and you want to sit this in the middle. Okay, this is going to cut this inner size here through everything. So I'm going to cut that one. I can probably cut those two at the same time actually because I'm going to run it through my Big Shot or my Gemini and it will cut through both. You might need to run it through a few times. But what I might do is add the glue onto the back of this. Now when I cut this I then thought oh, I should have used some double sided um, sticky sheet but um, I totally forgot so I'm just going to use this good um, Cosmic Shimmer. It's their acrylic glue um, but it's extremely tacky so it'd be great if I can get it to come out. There we go. So I'm just going to go all the way around the outside here and then just kind of dab it over. In fact, I'll probably put it on my finger um, just to run it over all that detail. So ideally, yeah, I would say if you've got something this detailed, then use your double-sided sticky sheets. But um, I'm just going to cover this the best I can. Um, as long as we get most of it stuck down, it should lie flat. And once we run it through the dye machine again, that will, you know, help really kind of stick down all this glue. If there's any bits that have lifted, I can always um, go in and add a little bit more glue. So you just want to sit this over that one so you get a nice even border and just stick that all down. And this glue does dry nice and clear. I've got a few little like fluffy bits that have come off where I've die cut it so once the glue's dry I'm just going to go over it with my glue eraser and it will just get rid of all of those pieces. Sit this now on top of here because you imagine this piece will go around that inner piece just to kind of frame it so you just want to make sure this is the most important one you want to make sure this is right in the center because you're going to use this to line up against all the others. Because this has got a geometric print, I can see like the hexagon there and then there's a little bit there, hexagon there, there's a little bit there, I just want to come across so that I can see there even now. And then along the top here, there's like a triangle there and a triangle there. So again, I can see that's even, so I know I've got that right in, you know, the middle of that piece. So I'm going to turn it. You can put washi on there, but because I've got a little bit of glue that might be exposed, it might end up ripping. So I'm just going to pop it through. I've got my metal shim. I'm going to see if it'll go through on its own first. I can always, you know, go back through it. I'm going to run that through twice. No, nope, that's cut through perfectly. So now I can just remove that carefully there. And then what will happen is at the end, we'll stick that back over there. And there you get a really nice tissue box opening. Looks really cool. So we need to cut all the rest in a minute, but I'm just going to show you what you need to do. And then I'll just kind of speed that piece up. So now we've done that. Keep that. That makes a really nice gift tag. So now I can just rub over the areas and it just takes off all of the, um, just those little fluffy bits really. But that'll make a nice gift tag. You could put, you know, with love on there or something. So I'm just going to go over all this as well. Oh. Be careful there though, because I've cut that, I'll stick that. Actually, I'm going to leave it for a minute. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it, because that's going to cover that anyway. So now with this piece, I'm going to sit it on here. Again, make sure you get that border bang on. And then I'm going to grab a pencil, nice sharp pencil. And you just want to draw around the inside. Like so. This is all going to get covered. All right, so that's that one. And then you want to cut that one out and then you want to do the same on that one. Pop that on the top, make sure you've got a nice even border 
draw around it and again do it on that last one. Make sure you keep one of the biggest ones, remember, is your base, okay? But all of the top ones, you need to cut through all of them. So I'm gonna now go and run that one through. In fact, just, yeah, now you wanna line, I'm just thinking then what was I doing? Then you're gonna line this one up over that pencil mark and that way you know that you're getting them all the same. If you've got a die machine and you're confident it will cut through all of it all at the same time, then stick them all together and cut through. But it, sometimes it can leave really bad impressions on your cardstock as well and almost flatten it. I want there to be, you know, a little bit of dimension with these layers and I might decide I want maybe put that one on some foam so it's actually raised up from this one. So you just can't do that if you cut them all at the same time. So just see how your dye machine works and what works best for you. Also, I'm just gonna sit that back over there just so I can double check. I'm happy because the cut line is slightly, it's like in the center of that die, so. So that's everything now cut. So now I'm going to stick them all on top of each other. So I'm going to use my Kalal just so it makes it nice and strong and keeps everything nice and straight. And um, like I said, I think I'm going to add some foam on the top one. So as I mentioned at the beginning, I have made, you know, that tissue box. So, you know, take things that I do in this one, you know, it ha and put it into that one in terms of the decoration. So, you know, you can do some nice layers on top and add the foam and decorate similar ways. You might have like a nice square kind of, you know, um, geometric die. And there's many ways to, um, you know, take parts of this tutorial and put it into that one. But, and I know many of you have adapted the sizes. It's just really, you know, to give you some nice inspiration, but to be able to make this oval shape, I think it's really nice. And if you've got the standard card making magic oval dies, which I've shared before, you could still make this because you, the, you know, you can make the um, the side piece, um, these pieces quite easily, you know. So you can do this without using the dies. And then that one, yeah, I think I'm going to lift up. But I do want to just clean this up a little bit with my blue eraser here. Okay, so I've cleaned that all up. So on the top two there, I'm just going to go around with some foam pads and um, yeah I just think it might look nice just with that little bit of a raised section and then just make sure you get that border perfect you should be you know focusing on that inner oval shape but now I just think that just just gives it a some, little something. So, but next, well, not next. I'm going to do this last. But you imagine they're going to be the butterfly, and then the tissue's coming out. I think it's going to look so so sweet. So now let's start putting it together. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to stick with the lid for the moment. So I think I'm going to join up. So what I found I preferred doing was you can just fold them. But you, I don't know, it, it gets a little bit creased and because I'm using Centura Pearl, I think it will help to add a score line. So I'm just lining up my ruler with the top here and the, you know, just so I'm sitting just underneath those kind of little tabs. And then I can just run my stylus right the way along there, just joining that all up. And that's what I've done on that one. And then, see now you've got that score line. And then it's just really easy just to fold them. But it's almost squashed the fibres so it will prevent any cracking because any kind of coated cardstock, you know, is more prone to cracking. So you do want to kind of prep it a bit. So, um, yeah, just a little tip there. So just fold them all over like so. And then also just go along and just run the... Um, side of your stylus just so that you're kind of you might have like little lumpy bits if you just kind of you know squash them is the word I was trying to find um, it, again just all these little bits would just make it look that little bit nicer 
So I'm going to join these together first. So you'll have the long and then you've got the piece here. This is the next one where it doesn't have a tab. I'm going to stick that over there so the tabs just continue. Okay, so there's it's like about an inch. I'll stick that one over there. Um, you could probably do them separate, but I think it's going to be a bit easier to do them. So I'm going to use, again, the Cosmic Shimmer. I'm right down to the last bit, but I, I want to get this out. I don't like the nozzle. I love the glue, but it does irritate me a bit. Right, <laughs> so there we go. It's all stuck down, and then just stick, and then just stick that one over. Hold that there in place for a second. While I'm holding that, I should have curved that one. I totally forgot. So I'll just grab my, just carefully. You want to curl it before you fold in those tabs. It just helps you, you know, put it into its position really. Right, so that one's ready. Okay, so with your lid, flip it over, and you want your joins to be at the end. So I think what I might do is stick this piece that's already done right on this end here, so it's in the centre, and then just start with one of them. So um, although is it going to? Why don't you go that one? They will, you know, they do marry up perfectly with each end. Now I'm going to start with this end because I think it might actually be a bit easier. So I'm just going to pop some glue on maybe three of them and then get you know line this up here I'm just focusing on this line kind of start there so with the lid you want to make sure that you get it right up to the edge so as close to the edge as possible okay, and just hold that there do, do no, don't move it until you know it has completely set and again whenever you're doing anything where you're working on a curve you can always go over this with a little bit of baby lace trim or <laughs> I always say it like tinsel trim, pom-pom trim, things like that. So if you're not happy with your finish, you know, maybe it's the first time using this kind of, you know, dye or shape. It's, you know, it just takes a little bit of patience more than anything and you want to do it in little sections. So see, I've just stuck those three and you can see now I've got a nice join on the side there. Okay, we want to continue that all the way around. But if for some reason you're not happy with your join, maybe you stuck one a bit further in, you could easily go around that and still decorate it. So don't, you know, get frustrated with yourself and think, oh gosh, that's it, I've ruined it. What I'm thinking might be easier as well is actually to run the glue on the actual edge of the um, lid there. Because it only needs to have a little bit to grip onto. So, and you can probably do a few more then. I've done about six there all at the same time. Like I said, this glue's got a real fast grab. You can use the Kalau, but you'll probably find you'll just be there just holding it just to grip just that little bit longer. But obviously you do get that real kind of stiff finish with the Kalau. So, you know, it will work, both glues, but I'm just going for this one just really for speed. And um, you can see there how nice the side of that is coming together. So I'm gonna go around and continue this until I've finished and then when we get to the edge, I'll show you how you just want to finish that off. Okay, so there is my lid. I'm really pleased with it. And then at the end here, where it's overlapped, you just want to pop some glue in there. I think I'm going to go in with some of the Kalau actually here. And I'm just going to put a little peg so I can just kind of get that right down there like so. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. It's going to look absolutely stunning. So you just want to now do exactly the same on the base. So I'd already prepared that one. So again, I'm just going to grab this one here and again, do that score line. Hold it all over. And then with this one, we want to go in just a smidge more inside the oval and I'm actually going to keep the turquoise facing up so it almost creates a little bit of a lip and it would just I think look nicer although the white may be against this mm. let's have a look I'm just thinking do I want the white contrast actually I think the white might look nicer so I'm going to do that so basically just getting rid of any little bits there because these are both the same size, we want to bring this one in just a little bit so that the lid fits over nicely. But we want that snug fit. So again, I always forget to uh, curl this piece. Like so. So I'm going to, I'm putting glue just all over that section there. And then you just want to bring it so that the tab sits right next to the next one. 
that will all stick down so just hold that in place and what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to reinforce the base and cut maybe two more pieces um, of cardstock just to sit on the bottom just again but I'll show you that at the end so that's now all attached so I want to do exactly the same but you, like I said you want to come in a little bit so let me just start this off I'm going to pop the glue and it is just a little bit you don't need to do much um, so it's about like a mil <laughs> it's such a small amount but can you see that tiny little lip I think that's going to be fine because like I said I want the lid to be snug um, but at the same time I don't want it to just fall off but because you're going to be pulling tissue through I think it's going to help having the velcro dots which I showed at the beginning so yeah you just you, you're really not coming in that much at all so but it will have that nice little trim that white trim in my case all the way around you're going to see it a lot better once it's all in place but if I just bring that up now and imagine that that's kind of all stuck down but can you see that little white edge so it's, it's a tiny amount because you know that's what you want because that is going to sit once this is all in place over the top all right so I'm going to go around the same way again I'm going to add the glue I prefer to add the glue onto this and then stick this all down Okay, so that is now, should be all set, yeah, and then the test, yay, <laughs> and there you've got a really nice join, it's a lovely size tissue box, it really is, it's perfect for the bedside, side table, that kind of thing, and the, like I said at the beginning, the beauty is you make it to match whatever, you know, you have, but I'm just thinking when you pull your tissues out it may lift that lid up so I think it might be worthwhile either you can pop a little maybe like a little latch on the side so you could get some you know matching cardstock you could actually make maybe I'll do that I think it would look quite nice make a little bit of a feature of it um, I'm thinking velcro rather than magnetic um, dots but you could do that but let's just decorate it just so I can have a little think about that so I think I'm going to have the butterfly there and then the flowers down in this corner here I'm thinking it's not showing up too well on camera but I think it's going to look nice I don't want to go crazy with it I just want to keep it you know just pretty I might put a couple of little um, um, rhinestones in the center of those flowers as well I want to keep them quite close together. You do have little leaves as well, so if you do want to make more of a a spray, you could have you know the flowers, um, the leaves coming out from underneath them. But I think I'm just going to keep it like that, and I'm probably going to put a little rhinestone in the butterfly as well. But just a little bit of glue, just to hold it in place, just on the body there. I want to keep the wings so they can stay. You don't want anything, you know. Don't go over into that section because you don't want it to obviously you know um, you know stop the tissues coming out so I'm going to add a few more bits of cardstock to the bottom just to reinforce it but I think let's have a little look so I've got some scraps here which will match and I'm just wondering whether I have something coming up from under the bottom and then the velcro dot there um, I'm going to go grab some tissue and see how it works first. Just got these ones here, so you might have to cut them down, but I have squashed tissues before into different things. As long as that top one can move, they should all come through. Oh, it looks so pretty. You've probably got too many in there, actually. It's quite a lot. Yeah, there's too many in there. Let me just take some out. Doesn't that look lovely? What a nice little gift as well. I've just thought to maybe take someone who's maybe in hospital and they might be in there for quite a while. Um, I think that's a really nice little gift as well to keep on their, their bedside. So now it does come through, but I feel I need to hold that down because yeah, the lid's gonna come off. So I think I am gonna do, oh, I really love it. <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked. It just looks so pretty. It really does look lovely. These are going to be great for craft fairs. They really will. If you just have, you know, you make a few of them and um, you could definitely sell those. What? I'm never really good at pricing stuff, but 
I don't know. Now I'm not even going to say because some of you go, that's terrible, that's too low. I'm really bad, that's why I don't do it. Right, anyway, so <laughs> let's um, look at this. So I think I'm just going to cut a few strips. I'm just going to have a play around and then I'll come back with what I think is going to work. Okay, so I've reinforced the base now so it's covered up that tab. So there's three on there. The glue's still drying, but it has given it a bit of weight as well. It feels like a really nice piece. It really does. I'm so pleased with this. I love the colour. Just love how it's all come together. And I think it does make a really nice little gift for somebody. So I'll definitely be um, making more of these for, you know, friends and family. I think they're lovely. And like I said, I think it is a nice gift to take to someone who is away from their home as a little alternative to grapes maybe we can't take flowers into um, the hospital so much anymore so it's nice to make paper flowers which I've, I've spoken about a lot in my um, over you know different videos and stuff but I think that's another nice little thing as well so especially as we're in the winter now coming into the real cold months in the UK everybody's got a runny nose so what better than to give them a nice pretty box of tissues I think it's lovely I do need to cut the tissues down a bit I think it might be you know worthwhile just trimming them but if you do go for the square ones instead get the um you know buy a, the inexpensive the 99p in the 99p shop but you can buy the um or pound shop should i say because we ain't got our 99p shop the big one anyway i'm going i'm digressing i always do this but buy the square ones and then just half it and you could probably you know get two halves in that at a time and um no i love it i'm not I, like i said i think i'm going to leave that plain that tab if you want to change it you know and and add what you want to it then you know by all means but i'm going to keep it like that so there you have it. I kind of took you with me when I was um, making this one because there was a few bits obviously I was still unsure on how to do but I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's given you inspiration and you can use what you have at hand. Look at the other one that I've made. I would have shared it you know back along but just click up there and you'll be able to to you know have a go as well. So yeah I love it. Really pleased with this one. So I hope you have enjoyed today's tutorial. As always please consider subscribing so you get to see more fun ideas and projects and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.